Hey, well, hello, 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 hello to everyone out there in YouTube land and wherever you might be listening to this video. <laughs> I am doing well and I hope that you all are doing well also and um, maintaining your health and that I wanted to come and speak to us a little bit about our health and maintenance, uh, maintenance, excuse me of our health um i am not giving medical advice or um uh, i'm not giving medical advice or speaking from a medical uh practitioner um stand standpoint or status but i am coming from a um a practitioner of a a, a natural health practitioner i am coming from that um uh angle more or less <laughs> um because i do um practice and study um natural health remedies and practices and things of that nature i, I believe that Right now, a lot of people are suffering various health, um, su suffering from many uh, health issues, um, not so much because of, um, you know, I mean, well, let me just say it like this. Some things are really not a m mystery. A lot of things just need to be um researched and you can't rely on others to do the research for your health it's your health it's your life it's my health it's my life i can't rely on the the medical uh industry to to save me to help me um you know not even to advise me um alone you know, we all, it needs to be a, a combination uh, situation, uh, you know. So, um, a lot of people are suffering from health problems right now. Most of the health problems that we suffer from or are as a result of um, the lack of nutrition and... Um, what do you call it? Maybe like lack of um, proper, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Let me say vitamin for lack of better term right now. Cause so, um, you know, some people, nutrition, nutrition is really big and nutrition is one thing that we suffer from. In the United States of America and abroad as well, especially if we have gotten off of the back to basics uh, life skill trail, if if you will. If we have gotten so brand new that all we eat is out and eat from grocery store boxes and things of that nature, then yes, we are going to be malnutrition a lot of people you even see people they even are heavy and obese but they are malnutrition even people that are walking around with normal health weights they're still mal and they're sickly or you know have different maladies every now and again it's because they're malnutrition they don't have the proper nutrition coming into their body, okay? And one part of that is absorption. You might even be eating the proper foods, but your body cannot absorb it in the manner that you are uh, taking it in, you know? Um, so your body is not picking up the proper nutrition, uh, or excuse me, nutrients from the food, uh, drink, or whatever, 
you know, and, and, t- and another part of that is because we're processing the food wrong and we're eating processed foods, <laughs> but we're not processing the food in order for the nutri- the actual nutrition and, uh, to come out of the food in order for our bodies to absorb it. And one of that, it, one of those things is what fermenting. It's fermenting is really big. It's something that most of our cultures, our backgrounds have dealt with or, you know, have, you know, taught and eaten and lived. But as we have gone down from generation to generation and then we got, you know, stores popping up everywhere, ready made food and people and and families and, you know, mothers and, and stuff like that going back to work or going into the workforce, you know, these easier meals and, you know, easier ways of living and quotes have just destroyed the history of, you know, fermented foods or, you know, foods that are lacto uh, bacillus or, you know, uh, foods that are healthier for us or foods that have been processed so that our bodies can absorb them. You can't just eat certain foods without soaking them. Okay, without fermenting them, without letting the 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 the, the good bacteria and yeast uh, uh, surface and grow and yada yada yada. So that's a a big problem. And then, again, like I was saying before, or what I want to say in addition to that, is that we are not, you know, the supplements like vitamin B vitamin B1 or bentofamine, um, uh, lipic acid or lipid acid or whichever one, lipoca, uh, acid, uh, you know, zinc, magnesium, manganese, uh, um, you know, C, you know, these, you know, vitamin U, <laughs> vitamin D, you know, we are lacking these vitamins, you know, we are lacking these. Well, our body needs these, and if they don't get them, something is going to fail in our body, and we'll think that we're, you know, and, and you know, and, and it'll cause a sickness, and some of the sicknesses even lead to death. But they are so preventable, um, and or um, you know, can be reversed. But we don't have the information because we go to doctors who are, you know, medical medical doctors who don't have the information as far as nutrition is concerned, you know. So it's best for you to also see a nutritionist, uh, a whole, you know, holistic people. Uh, because herbs are so good for us. I mean, look at our f- people who used herbs and stuff like that. And I mean, it's just so many things I'm just even remembering from my, you know, childhood or, or whatever. And things I learned from books because I used to read all kinds of stuff. Even didn't even even if I didn't really truly understand it. <laughs> I used to read all kind of stuff growing up, but but it's so many things that we have just left by the wayside, and a lot of our grandparents who taught grandparents and or grand aunts or you know older people who have taught us this have they're they're gone now, and we are not holding on to what we learn from them. Um, again, because we, you know, certainly just so many circumstances, not that we, you know, although some are negative against it. Oh, that's so old fashioned, old fashioned, old fashioned. I'm grateful for my ways and who I am as far as that. Cause I always, even though I was in the workforce and doing the newfangled stuff, I always love, uh, cause you know, cause I love home period, you know, and no matter how I am or what's going on in my life, I love home. I love, you know, the, the natural things and the more, um, you know, easy, you know, the, just the, the old fashioned, let me just leave that. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, we, those people are gone and, some of us, we, we don't have anybody to ask because now people, they don't want to be, you know, f- f- learn all of these things. I thought there are a lot of people out there that's doing it, but you still have to be careful who you're listening to and you have to do your own research and you have to do what you must 
use the Holy Spirit. You must use God's Spirit in order to know what is the problem with you and what who you know who to listen to and what to use to get your health back on track. You know, because again, people are really sick, but all they really need are just those couple of things to bring them back. And another part of that is bone broth, because the bone broth is really, 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 really good for us um, to start, you know, let's start, start off with. Um, but you must, yeah, I believe that a person must make their own bone broth though although there are uh, I mean I've not seen uh, the read their boxes or read, read their packages but I've read some that says low fat no fat no sodium and all it's like mm -mm, nobody nobody wants that <laughs> no mm -mm. that's the one you know that's the wrong one to get you need the fat that's in it because the fat that is in it mixed with you know that that collagen all of that uh protein and the fat and everything and 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 the the the, the salt uh uh you know is what you know the combination is what is going to uh, help soothe and heal the lining and or gut of a sick person and uh, you know and another thing they have to do is maybe two maybe two or three days that might be all that they can uh, ingest in order to start the healing process you know and just give their uh, intestines and their gut a what do you call it a uh, a resting a, a time of rest in order for it to be able to heal itself and whatever um, and that goes with anything a lot of times when we start something new for health you got to stop something the other things you know you got to take a break from something else you know you got to clean out you know your your body or that's your system or you know whatever the situation is in order to you know gotta gotta do a little cleaning a little detox even if it's just one day before uh, do that prior to the starting of something new you know gotta let that other stuff pass out although some of it is not going to pass out but still your body needs to be ready to bring up the nutri the, the the rightful nutrition, uh, you know, it, be, it needs to be able to absorb it, and and that what it can't absorb it if there are blockages and and all kinds of other stuff that's stopping it or whatever. So, so I talked about nutrition, um, uh, the vital uh, vitamins and. And that that a body needs, and the healing, and the bone broth, and things like that. So yeah, so again, you know, you know, you might need to, like I said, seek a nutritionist, a, a dietitian. Be wise, and you know, look at pe you know, there are people you know that are online, uh, people who are on YouTube, people who have books. Not that I recommend buying a bunch of books. You can always use the library. Don't start buying a bunch of stuff, and a lot of stuff is online. Um, but if you need to read stuff, check out your local library as well, or thrift books. Don't you don't have to start buying a whole lot of uh, things like that. But um, even with COVID, some people, uh, the reason why you know, it could be genetic also or whatever, but some reason it's why some people live uh, through COVID or can can get COVID and live through it is because they have the, the they've been taking certain supplements and you know there are already two to three supplements that you can take that will really assist you, you know, even though you caught it, it will still assist you through it to where it's you know although you have it it's not as bad as somebody else who may have it and who winds up dying from it you know so you know you know so know know the truth you know know that also that you know there's two and I know you you probably already know what those are at least at least two uh vitamins or supplements that you can take 
in order to help you uh, with that. Uh, yeah, so anyway, but so yeah, that is some of the things that I just want to come on uh, and say. I'm putting that this video out right now, not even not setting it for another time, but because uh, I think it's important that we know this right now, especially with summer coming and things like that. But nutrition is big. Uh, eating the, the the way you're supposed to eat is really, really big. You know, staying off those overly processed foods. Cause, and, and, it, and this is no disrespect to anyone because I, you know, I'm learning and I'm growing also. If you know, if you know me or anything about me, you know I'm always learning and growing. And there's always going to be um, growth and change in my life. I'm, I'm not static I can't I'm not gonna stay the same I'm just I'm gonna be learning and growing as you know uh, and changing and moving and shaking as I uh, learn things or whatever because I myself I've eaten from boxes before but I'm real big on not eating out of boxes even all kinds of stuff I really to the, to be honest with you I really want to do all my own foods and all of my own foods I want to you know uh, I want to process my all you know you know when I say process by preserving and and um, canning my own foods all of them all of my own household um, products my hygiene products hair every single thing and I'm working on that and praying toward that because that is exactly what I want to do. I don't want to, you know, every now and again, of course, I'll, they'll buy stuff because I'm a junkie for cleaning products. <laughs> I love dishwashing liquid and little household, uh, you know, bath, you know, household cleaners and stuff like that. Although the, the ones that I normally get are more have more natural products like it'll have vinegar in it and lemon and stuff like that. Because basically what I use in my kitchen is only like a dishwashing liquid and a uh, vinegar solution, vinegar or peroxide or alcohol solution with essential oils in it to scent it. Uh, because uh, you know you, you're it's food. I'm 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 doing food and I don't want the an accident. Now I know what I'm capable of, but other people are in the home, you know, and whatever, and I don't want them accidentally using something and then wind up it's in the food or something like that or whatever, whatever, whatever. And I you know, I also do a lot of fermenting, especially now or whatever. So and that and all of those other chemicals they interrupt your ferments, you know, your sourdoughs your john your kombucha um your kefir uh your you know um lactobacillus things um you know your uh, sourdough your uh, sauerkrauts and you know things like that that you doing it could it'll interrupt and mess up everything so yeah you know a lot of women Women are suffering from different situations. Some women can't have children or, in quotes, can't conceive. But it's because of their diet. It's because of what they're eating or not eating. You know, that's that's causing a problem, you know. And, yeah, not eating. Uh, because somebody told them, stop eating this, stop eating that. But that is really kind of what you need to eat, you know. We've gotten away from so, so, so many things or whatever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I was saying no disrespect to people who eat out of it, but uh, they're really not, because sometimes I I love uh, to watch, a, uh, you know, maybe a pantry tour uh, or a grocery haul or something like that. And uh, whatever uh, the people are eating, it's not even food. It's not even real food. I mean, it's something to eat. If you, you know, of course, you desperate and you lost on an island or you know in a desperate situation it'll fill you up but it's not really nutrition and all of the foods uh unfortunately and fortunately that we get from the industry food industry is a is really a double it's a double-edged sword because yes 
on the one hand, the food is regulated, you know what I mean, and for safety, in quotes. But on the other hand, it has taken and stripped all of, if it was a food, something real, <laughs> it took out all of the nutrition, stripped it, you know, and took it from his, how it should be, and then processed it and, and whatever and then added some 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 supplements to it that are really um synthetic or you know whatever it's just a, a, a double-edged sword it's crazy but nonetheless yeah so the, but the, it's not food you know it, people are you know they got boxes and packages of stuff and you know you know now cans is different because i mean we're also doing what canning our food um you know so that that cans i believe you know good frozen I, I like frozen foods you know i'll take frozen over can and uh of course and but i love uh fro i love frozen and frozen is not bad um you know depending on what it is that's frozen but <laughs> You know what I mean? Because when I'm talking about frozen, in my mind, I always I'm thinking of some a vegetable or fruit or something like that, not the the process a processed meal that's frozen or something like that. But uh, and canned is good, you know, depending on what that is. And of course, my mind I always go to when you say canned, it's gonna be a you know a vegetable or fruit or something like that. Um, could even be a sauce of like a tomato sauce or something like that, a pasta sauce or something like that. Um, and then, uh, but, but a lot of the foods, you know, that's in a box like that, uh, it's, it's not food. It's, it's, it's not food that we should be consuming, but in an emergency, yes, we could eat it and live. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, and it's no disrespect to anybody, you know, because I, let me see, do I have any boxes in, in there? I mean, I have boxes of probably pastas and stuff, but I've done boxes before, you know, quick things and stuff like that, of course. Uh, but it's like I said, as I learn and grow, you know, I want to eliminate those things, you know, and I know a lot of people, they probably don't have time for that, but you have to make the time for it because it's important and it's going to be important to our future. And when I'm saying future, I mean our personal future as well as our children and grandchildren, you know, keep hold on to those old land, uh, land, uh, scapes or land, uh, landmark excuse me hold on to those old landmarks and things of that nature you know as much as possible and you know make out that time because you know we we have time for a lot of things you know sitting down and gossiping and you know doing the you know the wrong thing or when I say wrong I don't mean such as illegal but but make out time we have time for things that you know that's not really f hitting on nothing you know that doesn't uh, benefit us, but you know, so you we, we can wriggle out the time. Uh, we just you know need to be more disciplined in doing so. But because uh, I'm definitely, I think that we should be making our own bone broths, you know, um, and putting it in everything. You know, you know, put it in your your soups and your stews, your your greens, your beans, and stuff like that, wherever. You can put it, put it, and and drinking it by itself. Cause you can even put it if you're a coffee drinker. You can even put it in your coffee. You know, uh, especially if you're somebody that drinks with cream and stuff like that. Um. Anyway, that was. I think that's enough because I, there's more to say, but it might come later. But yeah, just want to encourage us. You know, as far as our health is concerned, we have to use wisdom, wisdom of God, and research. Uh, you know, and there are a few people again that are out here who are giving us good information, although some I, I don't mean in disrespect to them because, but I know everybody has to make a living or uh, in quotes. But some people, when they start selling stuff to you or they're giving you information just to sell you something, I don't like that. I think that's scammy and underhanded, uh, you know. You know, it's a choice if you, you know, if you do, if you do have something to sell, uh, still let your information be free and don't do it because you want to sell something. I hate that. 
I hate that. I hate that. I hate people selling me stuff. I'm sorry. I do. I can't do it. That's why I've never been into selling anything. I can't do it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, but there are a few people, uh, even that I listen to on and off. And I just, you know, what we say about eating the meat and spit out the bones, because some of the information is, is, is good. And then you, you, you take that and keep you know building on your own research for it because some of the stuff that they're saying about it is not uh, anyway let me just leave that where it is but nonetheless I hope that something was said was <laughs> that could encourage us all and lead us on a path of not just good health but righteousness uh, because God wishes that our, we would all be in, you know, good health because, you know, I mean, he doesn't want us unhealthy. You know, he wants us in good health. He's given us healthy bodies and and given us different research uh, uh, resources. He's given us a, a mind to think. He's given us common sense. He's given us the Holy Spirit. You know, so let us be wise and utilize everything that he has given unto us in order to um you know live a healthy life in order to encourage others to help him live healthy lives and to maintain our life health our healthy life and help others to you know to get rid of sicknesses and things of that nature you know so i'm gonna let you go because my house is full and people are all in the background making all kind of noise and stuff so anyway i'll talk to you guys later love you leave a comment if you have uh one because i'm interested in knowing about your own health journey and what you have to contribute to anything that i have to say negative or positive talk to you later bye bye for now <laughs>